The Christchurch Housing Trust says hundreds of people are waiting for social housing but can't use empty temporary homes originally set up for quake victims. The Linwood Park homes were set up in 2011 for those waiting on earthquake repairs and are now half empty and available until 2021. But the village manager says she's frustrated that those on the social housing waiting list aren't allowed to move in. Rachel Graham has more. The Linwood Village was set up in 2011 when hundreds of people's earthquake damaged homes were being rebuilt and they needed a short term place to stay. The temporary homes are still available for another two years, but only half of them are currently used for their original purpose. The Chief Executive of the Ōtatahi Community Housing Trust, Kate Kearney, says it's frustrating that the law effectively stops those seeking social housing from using them. Ideally, my team would say, look, we want to pe- put people permanently into ours rather than put them in temporary housing. But the need is great at the moment, and we have two three-bedroom homes sitting there that could be used for social housing. 829 people are currently sitting on the Ministry of Social Development's waiting list for social housing. And Ms Kearney says the Linwood homes would be good, quality, warm homes, which could ease some of that pressure. The homes were set up under MSD, but are now controlled by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Ms Kearney says she's communicated with both ministries, but is none the wiser about how to bring about a change in use. The chair of the council's housing subcommittee, Glenn Livingston, says he supports the move and will push council to apply some pressure on the government. I think we need to look look at all options, given the the growing waiting list for social housing and the fact that social housing is one step up from homelessness. So, yeah, fully supportive of the trust to get people in there and I think we need to find a way to cut through some red tape here and just to get people in. Kate Cooney says she's also sought help from local MP Duncan Webb. But he won't commit his support. He says he'd like the houses to be used as much as possible, but there's a social contract in place. I absolutely understand that if there's houses that are vacant there and across the road there's people that need houses, we want to meet that gap. We've also got to recognise that you know, the kind of deal that was struck with the community was that you can use a park, the houses that are needed for earthquake relief. So I don't want to go kind of breaking that social contract either. Mr Webb says he wants to speak to the local community and hear their views first, but a law change might not be needed to solve the impasse. He says a new agreement between the Housing Trust and the Council might be a quicker way to get cold families into the warm but empty homes. In Christchurch for Checkpoint, Rachel Graham.